Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the PH Night Rising Show, brought to you by the DraftKings Sportsbook app, America's number one sportsbook app. Oh, yeah. We're in the house. Woo! Let's we do are. it. Tuesday. Yeah. And uh, for those of you watching, wondering why we're a couple of minutes late, apologies. Max has the bladder of a toddler, it would appear. Oh, and, it's uh, all. It's managed all, to hold us it's up. All the four piece beverages. Wow. Us up here. I'm yeah, so he's been knocking yeah. them down since I got here. So yeah. I understand, Come on. Max. I'm here for you. Come on. Yeah, look at Owen. Have you even been in town for 24 hours? You're already roasting no. Max? I mean, no, I landed at like 1 This is how we, this is how we <laughs> so, say hello to each other. Yeah. Oh, lovely, yeah. lovely. Uh, yeah, shout out to everybody. Reese, we got Charles in the house. Charles, I miss our World Cup uh, moments over there. Good, good to see you uh, here in the in the chat. We got Pat as well. Yeah, it's who's been that two guy weeks, at the end? It's been two weeks. So I uh, reintroduce him, uh, Owen. Yeah, Evans. hi. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. I, I thought you would be more energetic or whatever, but apparently not. Good morning, well. Jesse. Got landed at like one this morning. <laughs> whatever. He really, he's, he's hitting us like up a the twenty-five he's, hour he's trip. He's hitting us up the group. Just keep pumping the Dude, beers, yeah, man, because uh, this guy. He's we need hitting us up in the group chat, being like, "Hey, I'll see you guys in studio tomorrow, but don't expect anything from me in the morning." And then we get a text at what, like eight a.m. Yeah. Oh my gosh! By some miracle, I'm up, and he's just been talking ever since this yeah, guy yeah yeah exactly mm -hmm. max how are you man i'm doing great okay yeah. cool cool we gotta keep the positive Let's vibes go. over Let's here go. ah okay great show for y'all today <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna try to goal keep it 100 we got some news i, I swear everyone watching this i swear we aren't drunk like we genuinely he are says, we yes. have a tower yes. of beer we're gonna try to build this tower the, yeah phnx <laughs> roast tower <laughs> Yeah. So uh, if you guys are watching it live, we're going to try to build a tower here with these uh, Four Peaks uh, cans. So we'll, we'll see. get there eventually. Watch us. Uh, yeah, we'll try to do it. Um, great show for you today. Uh, Phoenix Rising announced brand new goalkeeper. A lot of people are excited about this one. So I want to see, uh, hear you guys' opinion on this new signing. Uh, of course, there's still some rumors about what other players can come to the team. So we'll definitely talk about that. Of course, we got to talk about the Premier League and um, <clears throat> Tottenham. <clears throat> I haven't heard him in the chat yet, so it's good. It's good sign. It's a good sign so far. Of course, we're gonna talk can about. I, can Manchester I just say, United. Yes, Chelsea sir. fans officially have dominance, uh, not in the Premier League, obviously, but at, at PHNX. There's two Ooh. of us now. Oh, who is the other one? New producer Damon. Ah, uh, nice guy. Uh, Except for the whole Chelsea. Part. Yeah, the whole Chelsea part. Uh, and, and this then, is the uh, part where Owen calls me a plastic. Look, look, you can have as many of you as you want. Doesn't mean you're right. Like, I mean, <laughs> I mean, they're paying a hundred million for a kid that's pretty much. I don't know. I think he's not. That I might great. be able to get a mill or two. Yeah, everybody's getting a hundred million. Yeah. yeah, Chelsea got that new honor, uh, owner. Yeah, all that stuff. And then of course, Owen was. Uh, yeah, Reese, Reese in the chat there. Actually, feel free to tell us what you think of Tottenham. No, um, we're good. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Max. All right. And then uh, we're gonna hear a little bit about uh, Owen's trip because he was uh over there. What was it? Three years since you? Three three years since I've been home. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, so yeah, dude. definitely gotta, gotta hear about that. But let's go ahead and get started. New signing announced today by Phoenix Rising. This time, a goalkeeper. We were all kind of wondering when that one was going to come about. It wasn't the goalkeeper I was expecting, but it is a goalkeeper, a pretty good one at that. So, Owen, what, what, what do you make of the signing? I think that it's, it's an interesting signing. In a lot of ways, look, there's a lot of positivity day today, rightly so in some regards. But it feels weird given the fact that Patrick Rakowski had such a poor season last mm. year. He actually got dropped at one point from uh, Orange County. He wasn't playing at one stage in the year. Yeah. Um, but we knew that defense was not great. They weren't great. And that was the biggest problem there. And it's where if Rising can improve that back line, which it looks like on the whole they are doing, then you're in a position whereby hopefully he can shine a little bit more. Like, I mean, look, this is a guy who I thoroughly regret. 2021, I was at that USL final between Tampa Bay and Orange County. They came around about an hour into the game and said, who are you voting for final MVP? And I put in for... Ronaldo Dams. And I regret that vote now because the saves that Patrick Krakowski made after that, in addition to the fact that he saved a penalty in the final. He deserved you know, it. This yeah. is a guy who can show up in mid games. He's a guy who's got a lot of class in there. I mean, it, of course he's got a lot of class in there where you look at the, some of the teams that he's played for. You look at the guy who's been involved in the German youth setup up to under 20s, right? This is someone who, look, is he a phenomenal signing that completely blows you away signing for Phoenix? I think no. No, he's not, because he's a guy with a lot of USL experience, but that's not a bad thing. Mm. Um, and overall, I think, look, if if you're going to bring in uh, players to replace the two goalkeepers, cause, um, realistically, I don't see Lalo having much of a role. That was going to be here. my next question, yeah. Yeah, I, I would tend to think that Rakovsky's a, a good option for that, um, especially in conjunction with the other rumor of who may be coming in. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and so and, and I, I'm agreeing. I'm with the. I'm agreeing with the signing. Uh, it's it's a good one. He he knows Phoenix. He even in the press release he was saying he's familiar with the stadium. He loves playing here in Arizona. He has a lot of uh, connections here as well in Phoenix. So I think he wanted to be here, you know. And I think that's great. You know, he's coming here. He doesn't really have too much to prove. Maybe he can improve on last year's uh, performance, but. With what Juan Guerra is building here, I think that he saw the vision and he's happy to be here. And I think he's going to be the number one uh, goalkeeper this uh, campaign. Yeah, worth noting, actually, the uh, on the comments over the um, move there, I'm led to believe from Jake Anderson that there could be some uh, links from his wife to the Valley. So, Oh, mm. there you go. Yeah. There you go. Exactly. Max, thoughts? I'm a fan of it, right? I mean, when you lose a keeper with the quality of Ben Lunt, you have to first temper your expectations, right? Because anyone you sign, barring maybe it's someone from outside the USL or someone like that, no one within the league is realistically going to meet that caliber, especially what from what we've seen over last season. So I kind of want to put the baseline right there. But having said that, I mean, you're bringing a guy who he has that final experience, that, that USL final experience. He kind of has that chaos ball, that rising played last year. I mean, you could bring in a keeper who maybe was from a high a team with a higher finish, maybe with a bit more polish or a bit more, oh, I don't know, what's the word? You can sit on a lead and hold a shutout. Give me a guy who he had to deal and muck it up a bit with or, with OC last year. And maybe that's just because we're used to seeing what Rising played last year, but I kind of like that. It's not like he's being thrown into the fire and he hasn't been there himself. He kind of gets what might happen, but hey, with an improved defense, with a guy who is a bit older, 29 if I'm uh, correct, so mm -hmm. he's kind of been there, seen it a little bit more. I like it, and I mean, I think, how is he not plug in from day one? They're, of course, going to see what happens. Maybe there's a little battle, especially with who we're teasing, who might be brought in. But yeah. I'm I'm a big fan of this signing because I think going in, it was one of, if not our weakest position after Lunt left. And now I don't think you can say that. Yeah, yeah, definitely for sure. Uh, Juan Guerra in the press release today says uh, he is very comfortable with the ball at his feet, which fits our style of play very well. He's going to provide us with a lot of leadership and character. He'll be an asset on the field and in the locker room for us. That's what you want. That's yeah. what you want out of your goalkeeper, oh, yeah. especially with this play style. And uh, we'll talk about uh, the the next gentleman that's kind of rumored to, to be coming to the Valley. But I think that's what Juan Guerra was looking for, a guy that can play with the ball on his feet, start the attack from the back, and be be another weapon on the field. Yeah, well, and plus also, too, I mean, if whenever you can make one of your rivals weaker by pulling from True. that. I mean, like that, that's always a nice bonus. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. No, um, Pat brought it up in the chat. It looks like we might have one A and one B in goal uh, with Rio's Noble uh, if the, uh, Rio's Noble does come. So let's bring up that tweet uh, that we saw earlier this week. This is from uh, Club Lanus uh, that they were confirming, confirming basically on their Twitter account that uh, Rocco Rio's Noble was going to be um, coming to Phoenix Rising uh, in a in way in a way of a loan, a year loan with the option of being recalled in July. So, uh, Roco Rios Noble, this is a guy I'm excited for. He is kind of young, 20 years old. We all know that goalkeepers take a while to develop as well. So, But this guy, he was a starting goalkeeper from M for an MLS, uh, MLS franchise last year. So, yeah. this guy is no joke. Like, he comes in ready to play. He's He had some good performances. The thing that stuck out with me is that he's not the tallest guy. He's 5'10". Doesn't have that much experience, but he can play really well with his feet. That's what I've noticed from, from uh, the play that I saw. One thing that really stands out to me from that, though, is, of course, the right of recall in there. And that actually makes the signing of Patrick Rakowski today make a lot more sense. Mm -hmm. It's easier, comparatively, to find in a guy who is more of a true backup later in the season, if needed, mm -hmm. um, if the recall is actually used. It's very hard to find a true starter in the middle of the season, yep. necessarily. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes a player is available on loan. Sometimes you're just not lucky. There is no player that you can bring in in that sense. And so it, it makes a lot more sense to me, I think. You want to bring in a guy like Rakowski today, especially if there's a chance that Rocco Rios, who could well play him into a, uh, itself into contention for that starting spot. He has a really. talent. He's a very he talented talent. guy. Mm -hmm. And we've seen it before. We've seen it happen at Phoenix Rising many a time, whether it be the Carl Wazinski against Zach Lubin or whether it be Andre Rolls against Ben Lunt. Remember mm -hmm. that from the uh, 2021 season. There's a lot of times when you see those goalkeeping battles here where you've got Love two it. guys who can legitimately stake a claim yep. at starting week in, week out. 
And if you're looking at these two goalkeepers, I really think that you do have that, which is which is good. I, yeah. I love that, man. I mean, iron sharpens iron. I mean, think about where we were even last week where, again, like I said, one of, if not the biggest needs on the club. And now, shoot, if you look at the depth with these guys in here, it's possibly the strongest. That's It's kind of quite the turnaround. And even with, it, let's say, that loan is exercised, I love that you have those guys who, hey, either one can step in. They've been the starter. They know what it's like over a long haul. It's a win-win situation. And even if that does get exercised, you go from there and see what happens. I mean, yeah. I do, I will dress, you know, as a, as a fellow 5'10 male myself, I mean, the, uh, <laughs> you know, Listen, is that is that ideal prototypical goalkeeping height these days? It's not. But I also think there's, I think, a bit too much of a bias. I mean, just because you're six plus doesn't mean you're automatically a better goalkeeper than the others. I mean, the fact that he is good with his feet, mm -hmm. the fact that maybe he's a bit more agile because, like, you know, gravity and stuff, You, it's a little bit think quicker of, to yeah. get low to the ground. But in all seriousness. THNX physics. Exactly. <laughs> not, not a doctor. But no, it's. I honestly don't think that's a massive deal, especially when you have a guy who has that experience. Mm -hmm. I, I, mm -hmm. I don't think the height matters. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I want that competition. We saw last year what happened with Ben Lunt and Lalo where, look, to be honest, at the end of the day, if you're Phoenix Rising who, you know, kind of fell, the, the wheels fell apart like in May, are you really going to put Lalo in goal when you need Ben Lund and week in and week out? You know what I'm saying? You need that competition to kind of keep the team going, make sure that you have someone, you know, that's in good form in the back. So I, I like this. I like the fact that you're kind of having, you know, I don't want to say 1A and 1B, but, you know, at least a one in a competitive number two, at least. Yeah. And we'll, we'll, I'll touch on Lalo now. It's something that, look, he is genuinely all of my experiences with him have been that he is a very nice guy. Great guy. He is. Mm -hmm. Someone who I believe puts in work. Um, at the same time, I feel as though when, whenever Lalo has been called on to perform for Phoenix Rising, unfortunately things just haven't gone his way. Mm -hmm. And perhaps it's time that he really needs a, a new set of uh, just a new environment. What was to, the last game he played in last season? Was it the New, new Mexico, Mexico one? New Mexico. Which, in that, fairness, it a, it's hard. That was a that hard was a rough game. One. You look at games before that. You look at. LA Galaxy 2 away from home in 21, and and you think, okay, he had some good saves in there. He did. He did make some good stops. At the same time, he made errors that led to goals, and when you are in a position like Phoenix Rising it is, where mm -hmm. excellence is not expected, it's demanded, mm -hmm. yeah. and especially coming off of last season, realistically, I think he's someone who... You can wish him well. You you want him to go on and play well somewhere, not against Phoenix Rising, of course. <laughs> but he's maybe not the guy. He's someone you need to look at some kind of an upgrade there, realistically, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. I will address one thing in the chat here. Speaking of roles, interesting, he still has no club after leaving Rising. Well, he, he just got his degree, didn't he? A master's degree, I believe. Oh. I think it's in cybersecurity. So, uh, oh, heck yeah. Oh, yeah, if you, you ever get uh, hacked... Go give uh, go give Andre a shout. But stopping um, hackers now, I like yeah. that. Yes. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, just to, just to be clear on this, Rocco Reels uh, Noble, it hasn't been announced by Phoenix Rising themselves. So just a little heads mm -hmm. up with that. It was by the Club La News, which uh, um, is uh, the the home club, I guess, of Rocco Reels Noble. So just a little tad bit there, just uh, <laughs> so mm -hmm. we don't we don't get any. Uh, hey, this guy, these guys announced it before mm -hmm. anybody else. Yeah. But just a little heads up on that. I'm going to jump yeah. back a second, actually. Yeah. I think we should have it one more fact in about Patrick Rakovsky. I'm going to leave this to you guys. I want you to give me a give me a guess here, right? Rakovsky's first senior goal conceded. Who do you think scored the goal? He played against uh, Borussia Dortmund, right? Is that what it was? Oh, he's got the game. That's the game. He's 18. He was 18 when he started. So what, that has to be, what, like 12 years ago? Well, no, he's 20, 20, he's 29. There we go. They're, they're trying to work this out. There's some process okay. to this. There's some process to this. So it has this. to be like 2012. Yeah. Was it Marco Reyes? No. No? Wait, no. wait. Was it, was it Lewandowski? Ooh. It was Robert Lewandowski. Oh! oh! Oh, man, oh, man. assisted by Mario Goetz. Oh, okay, I was gonna say Mario Goetz, yeah, but I was like, I don't think he was playing that. Look at that, good nice. stuff. Wow. Soccer yeah. encyclopedia over here. Yeah, I was in Thank the uh, yeah. 50th minute hmm. of that game. Uh, he made his professional senior debut uh, away to Borussia Dortmund in front of 78,000 in the Bundesliga. Wow. At 18? 
That's uh, crazy. Yeah. That's insane. That's wild, you can't man. get phased by anything else if you if you're facing that. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd wear that as a badge of honor. I mean, he, yeah, he, right. he kept them out for 50 minutes. Heck yeah. Like, Heck I, would, yeah. I, would, I, would, I would wear you that badge of honor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who, uh, my first, uh, you know, senior uh, goal concede now. You know, just a Robert Lewandowski, no big deal. No. I love that. Yeah, I love yeah, that. casual. Lewandowski, I think you'll find. Okay, we're well, Oh, no. here we go. Bobby's not in the chat. We're okay. We're okay. We got to ask him about that if we get a chance to speak with him. Bye. But, yes, uh, yeah, we'll keep you um, in the loop with any more signings. Uh, if there's any rumors, let us know, man. We'd like to be part of the conversation. So uh, let us know what's going on with that. Uh, quick break, gentlemen. Speak about our friends at the DraftKings Sportsbook. Uh, I should have made some uh, bets this weekend in regards to the Premier League. Uh, well, because uh, the, 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 you, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ahead <laughs> of you right there. Unfortunately, um, you know, oh. you guys know, you guys know Mike. You know, uh, our, our guy, Mr. Vanderplas. Well, you know, he kind of <laughs> tweeted at me. Uh, with a little something, something, and you know, our show, hey, at phnx underscore underscore rising Oof. at max david simpson, give me a follow if you haven't. I'm new to this whole betting thing, so maybe you can help me out. Is minus 200 better or worse than plus 250? And you know, I, it almost seems like he's trolling me because he has his team man, almost man, uni- almost. man united almost max with you know, pretty decent odds to finish top four. Meanwhile, my team spurs. On the outside looking in, so it's kind of tough. Good Europa League, uh, you know, standings. Right mm, now, so. The rate we're going, that might even be a stretch. <laughs> tough, tough, tough. Oh, yeah, man. I've got to be honest, I'm not sure if we can move on here because I'm still just like mystified at the fact that our modern day Sherlock Holmes worked out he was being trolled right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I, I miss this guy so much. Good to have Owen. Uh, oh uh, but yeah, if you guys have not downloaded the DraftKings mm-hmm. Sportsbook app, make sure to download it uh, right now. Uh, if you guys are a fan of the NFL, new customers can bet $5 on the NFL. Uh, divisional round and get $200 in free bets instantly only at the DraftKings Sportsbook with Code PHNX, minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See the show notes for details. I don't know if you guys watched the, the game yesterday, the NFL game. That, that was crazy. Any, any thoughts on that kicking performance? I want to ask producer Sean here, uh, what, what were his thoughts? Was it four or five missed uh, kicks that four. he had? Four. He, he, yeah, he missed four out of five. Um, pretty despicable. I <laughs> don't know <laughs> what to say. I don't think I, I would even do that bad on extra points. Ooh. Um, it is tough to be a kicker, though. I feel bad for him because you have one really bad day at work and you're fired. That's it. <laughs> it's you, all it's over. You know, everyone says like, oh, like like an NFL player or anything like that. Like, oh, you can make that catch. Oh, you can make that throw. Da, da. I'm, I back myself to make at least one of those four kicks. It's tough, man. It's tough. You got Jerry Jones looking at you. You got Dak saying go for two instead of I can uh, <laughs> see. I can see his face just scrunching up. No, that is tough. But, you know, you can put that money down. Um and see, you know, maybe maybe fair Max, better. Max, you wouldn't time. make any of those kicks. Okay. You'd be called for delay of Here game because you'd have go. run to the bathroom. Look, this, I, okay. I, I, <laughs> we saw the evidence today. Oh, and I'll just say that he did mention a few months ago that he could score a goal in the whoa, USL. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, this guy didn't. He hasn't put his money where his mouth is. Irrational confidence. How do you sign up for the open tryouts? Ooh, That's true. He won't put his money where his mouth is. Irrational confidence. You know, I'm, I'm actually Max uh, making Simpson. my uh, re Sunday league <laughs> debut after a gruesome six month injury uh, this Sunday. So you know, there's there's steps. The this, comeback. You know, exactly. you know whenever comeback you season. see those tweets about that poll and it's like all those blokes who think they could get a point off of Serena Williams, right? This is the guy. No. This is no, no, the no. guy no, no, who no, no, says, no. yeah, I bet I could, yeah. <laughs> no, I would, I would not get a point off Serena Williams, but me kicking an extra point, yeah, there's other people there, but they have it so pretty turnkey to where it's just me against myself. And oh, I back my myself goodness. to win that every time. Yes, I know what I just said that didn't make much sense, but oh my God. we're good. It doesn't make any sense. Irrational, we're good. We're good. Irrational we're good. confidence, yeah. Whew. All right, but yeah, make sure to download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. <laughs> make some, make yourself some money. Uh, Whatever you do, don't bet on Max Simpson in the field goal. Oh, that's not happening. It's not in the app yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> yet. Uh, speaking of uh, sporting events, if you guys want to attend one, I recommend the Game Time app for mm. the best deals out there. I use it all the time trying to catch these Suns game, even though they're taking these L's right now. Always like to get out there. ASU basketball. Oh, yeah. I'm out there checking them out as mm. well. You know, I'm, I'm hoping to get to a Coyotes game, you know, hopefully. And I know I'm going to use the game time app because when it gets closer to the game time, tickets, it's, it's, ticket prices go name. down. Mm-hmm. It's in the name. Game, game time. time. Exactly. Well, so download the app. Make sure to use it up to 60% off when you use game time on those tickets, last minute tickets. And once the rising season comes around, make sure to download it as well. New stadium? Like, they, they, sick, they, pop up, they pop up in there as well, right? Yeah. You might not see them at the moment because obviously not really much availability in the not resale right now, market. Not right now. Yeah. Enough for a, uh, 
season that doesn't you know, kick it, off it, for two months. It's like but... me kicking extra points. You might doubt the process as it's happening, but before you know it, it's going to go through seamlessly. You're really not selling this, Max. <laughs> Come April, use the Please, app so listen, to get these rising tickets. You can actually trust the app, you can't trust him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, well, yeah, make sure to download it. All right, y'all, let's talk some Premier League. Oh, gosh. It was a fun oh, weekend no. for us, Manchester United fans. I don't see Michael in the chat, which kind of sucks because <clears> I need him to back me up. But it was great. 2-1 victory over Man City. That was nice. The first goal, clearly onside, as everyone saw. Second goal, even better. Yeah. And uh, we took those three points. And we're back in the title race, man. Ten Hag doing his magic. I love it. Man, where are you You're guys... nine points back. We can do it. We're going to be Arsenal there, this there's weekend. There's another team that's also nine points back in Newcastle. Mm. And there's another team that's only eight points back in Man City. Whack. So we got it. We got this. We're in the title race. We're going to Ar- be Crystal Palace tomorrow and then Arsenal on Saturday. We're going to be in it, man. I mean, considering where you guys started this season, it's pretty incredible. And listen, that was only like three or four games, but like, you guys were doom and gloom. They were saying fire ten hog and look at you guys now. It was bad. You guys are soaring high. Yes, that's right, BJ. Yeah, they are. You're all, you are you are you are Arsenal's only loss of the season. That's Brad. true. That's crazy. That's true. Yeah. And we got Sancho back at training. So we were getting up, baby. We're gearing up. That's for sure. Uh, Owen, I want to get your thought. I don't know if you got the highlights. Uh, you saw were, if you were able to see the highlights, but that first goal clearly offside. What it's, what's it's going on? What's going on it's there? Complicated because something that people have to bear in mind, and this is. A constant source of ire in some uh, some sects, let's say, is that some of the language in the laws of the game really needs updating. Um, it is <laughs> thanks, Pat, <laughs> for the uh, <laughs> menu in the title race comedy. Now I know, guys, right? Like. We've got Max here saying that he's going to kick field goals. We've got <laughs> Ramon saying that Manu are in the title race. I feel like I'm in a room of delusion here. And but you uh, are the most delusional one because you I'm are not... so jet lagged. That's the thing. That's, that's true. The thing. I'm jet lagged. Yeah. I've barely slept, and yet still, apparently, I can see the problems with these. But um, <laughs> no, no, the problem more is that a lot of terms like um, interferes with play, interferes with an opponent, gains an advantage. Why is that language in there? Because it doesn't mean what you think it means. Mm-hmm. It never means what you think it means. Yeah. But the IFAB have never gotten away from that. And it's so, too vague. It, well, no, they, they defined. That's almost the problem, right? Is that it's just done in such a manner that is intentionally made to make people question their own sanity as they read it. Because you'd say, has he interfered with an opponent or interfered with play? And you can very easily make a case that, yes, he has. But there's a definition of interfered with play that they define I in the laws, which doesn't even him. match up. Correct, with correct me if I'm him. wrong. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. But this is a recent thing due to the fact that the linesmen, they don't, once someone is clearly offside before, at, from what I remember, they used to raise their flag up and it's immediately. No, it's nothing new. It's nothing so new. The arguments of why this is on or offside are nothing new. Okay. Um, what you're thinking of is more of the delayed flag. That's because of VAR. Them. Got it. Okay, so the reason the for that, the, but the flag would still go up but if he'd made the, the determination. No, the flag goes up after the attackers come to a conclusion. Okay, so if there's no but, longer an immediate attack, then mm-hmm. the flag would go up. Yeah. The idea is, is that what they don't want to do is stop play for offside mm. when it's about to go to someone that. Um, uh, and to BJ's point here, where they should just call offside right away. The problem is, is that all, all of these things look. No one is ever happy. No one will ever be happy. But wouldn't that you just make it clearer? Make... As far no, as like, because... because people will then be like, "Well, the defenders stopped because of that. So how can we now?" But then you get a situation where if you let the play go on, and the the player, the offensive player, gets hurt somehow, or someone else gets hurt, it's because you didn't call off the so, play yeah, right away. This, so this you put that risk done to forward. Death, but at the same time, what you get then is the player who was marginally onside but looks off. The flag goes up. You've got VAR at your disposal, but you can't really use it because then you're why stopping we, play. Why do we have the refs then? It, if, if VAR's just going to call it, it just doesn't make any sense Well, the to me. point there is, is that he could still put the ball in the back of the net, but the reaction of people means that now... And if he's now, like 10, 15 feet offside, it just doesn't why make have sense VAR, to... But why have VAR? That's that the point. point. That's the point I'm trying to say. Right? It's but like, just call it what it, it is. People it... want that. Okay. People want... People... The minute that we say these things with both sides, it goes, oh, they wouldn't want that. The minute it actually happened, yeah. imagine the backlash with yeah. that. We've got video all of a sudden, no, because the way we want to do things is... Blech. And I mean, to BJ's point here, you're kind of right, but at the same point, when when someone's in their own final third, and the way that offside I, free kicks are taken, I'm just that's always of really... the opinion when you create stuff like that's this and it's and it's confusing. You turn off fans, 
you see VAR where like the point of the foot is ahead of the line. So now you got to call it off completely. It's just it, it gets too annoying to watch the game where you don't even know what's going on with the offside. And yet the problem you, is, is that when you don't then go down that line of the micro analysis of stuff, that micro analysis is in the newspaper the next morning and people are up in arms and people true. want action. Yeah. They want justice because they were cheated. Yeah. And so people don't want the fix, but they also don't want no fix. But then you get situations like that where, you know, one team benefits. Like when I saw that, that goal, I was like, look, that's offside to me. Yep. Mm. He's going to give it to it us. We're going to take it. It really feels it. The problem yeah. is that as the laws are written, it's not. And yeah. maybe that's the problem with the laws. It's not something new um, before anyone gets potentially confused over that. This isn't any particularly new interpretation there. Um, but it, it's... Look, I'll, I'll be honest and say that I've seen it a couple of times, but not perhaps in the detail that I'd like to discuss yeah. the finer points of this. But um, the automated offside technology... Um, yeah, that was interesting at the World Cup. Um, it yeah. does require a degree of manual action still. It's and not you, and you need completely the stadiums to be automated, equipped, right? With all the those cameras. Need to be equipped, which, again, in something like the Premier League is entirely possible. Um, They're rich enough to do it. Not you know? really necessarily at lower levels always, yeah. even when... Yeah, we got the discussion about what VAR light would look like. But then you would get that it's not available in the in the cup games, you know, because mm. some of the lower teams don't Which have it. Which then winds people up because you get to like the fourth round and half the games have VAR and half of them don't because yep. exactly. even when some of the games are like, yeah. I, we can do a very deep that. dive about officiating in it's one confusing, of these episodes. Man. It is a lot out there. It is interesting to note that Akanji, the Man City defender who was involved in the play, did say in his post-game presser, um, I do not have it verbatim in front of me, but it was essentially along the lines of, I stopped during the play thinking that Marcus Rashford was going to get the ball and he was offsides. Mm -hmm. And whether or not you think, you know, Bruno was offsides, justifiably so, coming out and saying that, I mean, that really does not help your team's case. And, I mean, it's a cliche, but you do play to the final whistle. Play to the whistle. He, he did not. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's that's part of the thing there, actually. If you don't stop, you have a much better case because for the, the fact that you were denied then, the ability because to then play you have, the ball because then by you're someone who's having to go position. around yeah. Marcus Rashford to get to the ball, which yeah. then impedes you, which then can you can make the case. But the fact that you stop... You then kind of leave it in this wishy-washy of, uh, was he? Yeah, did he actually impede yeah, him? He's got to go know, for it. Yeah, you can't do that. And yeah. It, it's yeah. Look, at the end of the day, the laws don't cover that kind of stuff because at the end of the day, if you're daft enough to stop beforehand, yeah. eh, oh, tell so much they could do. Hustler's <laughs> gonna hustle. Baller's gonna ball. True, true. Mm. All right, Tanum, how we feeling? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, you don't have to go in depth. Um, I'm just. You know, remember when earlier in the week when Ugo Lloris was, I am retiring for international football? It's not the worst idea to oh add club to that as well. No, Oof. I mean. The, it, I don't think that's a harsh take at all. I think the, I don't know who our replacement would be immediately, but that first goal, yes, it took a slight deflection, but how his body position was so poor that when you have a man near post, where Bakayo Saka was hugging the end line, you still had he was angled. Where if 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 um if we're on the end line right here, he was angled this way. Uh, this is a horrible medium. If you're listening on audio, he was essentially angled to where he wasn't closing down the near post. It hits him, bounces off his chest, even with his hands up, and it goes in the goal. It was poor positioning, poor reflexes. The dude's like in his mid to late thirties, like. It's time. We, we, we The worst part is, too, is he was out of contract, and then we renewed him for, like, a four- or five-year extension, have zero backup plan whatsoever. Like, it, it's time. Like, I, I don't understand it. I think this wasn't only his fault, but when you concede 1-0, which, weirdly enough, is great for Spurs because then they start playing better, it was all downhill. Like, we were already getting dominated before the goal went in, and now, when, once that happened, I'm like, okay, we lost, and it only got worse. Um, yeah. Just a lack of attacking flair. A lack of willing to get forward. And for everything I loved about Antonio Conte, where his teams are winners and everything like that, it is so annoying where he throws, oh, I need my tra my transfer market. Oh, we don't have the players. People need to buy into the system. Like, dude, you got like seven new transfers over the summer. Like, get out of here. I don't buy any <laughs> of it. I'm not saying blow the whole thing up because you have a lot of talent there. And I'm not even saying necessarily like mid-season get rid of Conte. But, man, it is – this was like a very different look – three months ago to where we are now and it sucks did it oh that's a great reese did kane even play 
I don't know, because half the time he's invisible. They don't give him the ball. Well, sometimes I, I, he was our deepest yeah. lying defender. Make it make sense. Oh, come on. If he's your deepest lying defender, how's he going to get a tap in or Here a penalty it is. from Here there? There it is. Was oh, oh, no. No. I, I'd like to shout out if we're talking about this. Should we shout out that Tottenham fan who had the most accurate kick of the game? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be something else to do joke, that. But what an idiot, though! What an idiot that guy. He was um, Did you see that video where like, he was trying to hide, and then the camera bro, still caught him? He's, gonna, he's look, gonna have a knock on if, the door from the police one of these. Yeah. If, if you if go up against already, Greta Chaka, you're gonna lose that eleven oh, times out of ten every yeah. time. Yeah, stay in the seats, guys. Come yeah, on, y'all. No, um, Jesus. But question for you, was, Owen. Uh, no, go for it. No, I, I think it, it, look ultimately. Let's be clear here. I think Arsenal are a title contender and Tottenham Hotspur are not. And that's just exactly what was well, shown not, here. Oh, it's not even close. I mean, they're not a even class close. above the rest, exactly. of, the rest of the league, honestly. Exactly. Yeah. And yet what's remarkable is it wasn't even the most Spursy thing to happen that day because Alexander Mitrovic, that uh -oh. penalty. Uh -oh. oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Oh, that, uh -oh. that was something else. I've n I have seen double touches called before on penalties. But not like that. That was something else. That was that was impressive <laughs> commitment to wasting a penalty. Oh, like Harry man. Kane would have been proud. Oh Jesus! <laughs> and uh, Max's head just goes down the minute. He I'm just trying to get through. Harry I'm just trying to let's get through this let's segment. Go, let's 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 go. Sucks. Uh, sucks. Man U versus Crystal Palace tomorrow. That one should be a good one. Uh, and then you, uh, Tottenham, I'm sorry, man, you go against Man City on Thursday, so it's not getting better for you. Um, and then for those that are curious, uh, PSG, who uh, happens to have some guy named Messi in their he team, is, pretty good. is going to play uh, the team from where Ronaldo is now playing. Uh, it's not Al Nasir, but it's the league's all-stars, mm. uh, the Saudi all-star, so, uh, which uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is going to be the captain, so... Uh, good uh, juxtaposition there, right? Of uh, of those uh, guys' You've career the, right the, now. The big one as well. There's a third round replay tomorrow in the FA Cup. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. So Leeds United against Cardiff City. Of course. Oof. Yeah, we're gonna watch oh, that right now. Yeah. The gonna, first, the first round was the first game in that one was a very interesting one. Um, but <laughs> we'll try to catch some Cardiff games of, of, for, did you, for sure. Uh, did you guys catch El Clasico? I caught the first half, and then once Barca did their tiki-taka, I That's pretty much all you need. I That's did. pretty much... That was, that was it. It's really weird, those Super Cup games where the guys, like, you have a full starting out starting lineup out there, and it seemed like they were playing for it, but I don't know what was up, but Real just did not show up to I don't think one. they cared about this I game. Even Ancelotti so. was like, yeah, it's like there were 80% out there. They just, they don't care. They're, so, they're in Saudi Arabia. That's just another commitment I mean, they I, have I, to have, and let's just go I would, home. I would agree. I thought that making it against your bitter rivals would maybe add a little edge to it, but it seemed like Barcelona really gave a damn, and Real Madrid did mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Xavi hasn't going, man, and yeah. they're all young. It's, oh, yeah. be, it's dangerous, dangerous team. Um, and then one last game, uh, Chelsea versus Liverpool uh, on Saturday. So yeah. it's the, the eighth place derby. That's what they're calling it. So, oh, my God. Uh, looking forward <laughs> no, to that. Let's throw this one over Stewing. to our producer, I just, uh, Sean. No, it's fine. I mean, when's the last time any of y'all won Champions League? <laughs> oh, that's, that's, all, that's all I really have right Ooh. now. So, Facts. Facts. so I got to use it. <laughs> Um, before we wrap up this Premier League talk, um, I do want to show the the tweet from our free, uh, from our friend Gene, uh, who very oh, lovely tweet I got to wake gosh. up to. Yeah, that was that was. Rough. Uh, yeah, Gene woke us up. He said, "I like to extend a uh, a hearty good morning." And uh, I'm not I'm not gonna say that <laughs> other part, but get effed to Max and uh, Ramon and the entire PHNX Rising staff. I don't know what uh, Owen did to, to uh, get well, the brunt of this. I didn't get named, so that's but, uh, fine. Um, I didn't get named, apparently. Yeah, but then okay. you got roped in later because you are being you are always being accused of saying, if you want to bet $100 on DraftKings Sportsbook, you can lose $100 if, for Man U to win the league. I swear, it's win the league is the one that I almost always say, yeah, which they're not going to the do. Hit. Yeah. No. So maybe it's, maybe it's, maybe it's, don't, don't, clip this, we'll clip. don't <laughs> clip this in May. Please don't clip this in May. Yeah. So uh, shout out to Gene. I don't see him here. I I honestly, laugh. I laughed. I'm I like, laughed. That's that was good. That's it was fair. good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it was we'll more see. fun from from afar. I'll oh, say that oh, much. Of course it was. Not yeah. being actually. We'll see what happens on Saturday. Saturday. We'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah. Great, great stuff, guys, for sure. You know, actually, one last Premier League thing should we mention? Did, yes, sir. Did any of you guys catch the news about Everton? I feel like that's something that I'm not sure if it's quite gotten as big over here as it was. Uh, 
So Everton's <laughs> board of directors, Everton's board of directors didn't attend the last game because they were advised on security grounds ah. not to attend the last match. Always oh. a fun time. So oh. I mean, that's quite an escalation. That mm. they won't that's... guarantee their safety there. What the Everton? I, they don't have any more money to bring in new guys. They're bottom of the league basically it's just how, what are they gonna do i don't know how they survived relegation last year i mean yeah. this year what are they well they they're right in the mix there's a lot of teams down there well, that are all like, a lot of muck down there you know you look at it right <laughs> between fit so the bottom three all on 15 points southampton everton west ham then you got bournemouth on 16 points and you got another three teams on 17 in, in wolves leicester west and Leeds. Ham, so man, come on west ham gosh. like are you kidding me <laughs> Yeah, that's that's. But Everton are far too big a club to be down there. Let's be perfectly oh, honest. Yeah, yeah. They, they've been in recent years. Yeah, no, no. But no, they're still all. too big a club to be. No, there. they're still Just too the big a club. Like their club. play the last couple of years was tough. Yeah, yeah. it's rough. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with them. Uh, quick break, y'all, to talk about our friends at OGs. Uh, they were out there last week, right, for the the tea party. Yeah, that, that's why Max thinks that he can hit a field goal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, OGs brands. They give me the power. I didn't say field goal. I said a point after attempt. There you go. Uh, no, they were fantastic out there giving away their non-medicated sample gummies. And by the way, they brought out the whole shebang, the kit and caboodle, if you will. They had the acai, uh, their acai berry, their orange creamsicle, their, oh gosh, uh, their tropical flavors. Like they had all the different types of flavors out there. People can sample it. We love our friends there, hooking people up. Um, they even gave away a, a OG's brand's skateboard. Ooh. Like, that was cool. That thing is like, I think it goes for like $250 or something like that. And they just gave it away. Um, I think it was the person who had the longest drive or the close to the pin. Either way, someone walked away with a brand new longboard skateboard. Uh, but sick. it was awesome. That's Super sick. cool. Shout out to OG's. Shout out to OG's. And yeah, you could find them. At your nearest dispensary by checking out ogsbrands.com. You must be 21 years old to enjoy, especially their new strawberries and cream one-to-one -one CBD THC ratio called Happy Balance. Happy Balance. Um, that should be hitting dispensaries very soon, but they just announced on Instagram today that it is officially official. Fresas con crema. Try it out. Yes. Try it out. That's the flavor I'm looking yes. forward to. So yeah, yeah. Make sure to check it out. And shout out. Shout out to OGs. Always with. Some uh, some great products out here. Uh, last but not least, Underdog Fantasy, man. Ooh, ooh. I don't do it. Is that how you guys do it on your oh, show? Give us, give, us, give, us a, give us a bark. Come on, Owen. No. Oh, oh my, my God, goodness. Boo. Come on, boo. <laughs> boo. Whatever. I was surprised. Like I, I, I'm new to this whole betting and fantasy yeah. you know, stuff. But the way you explained it last week was incredibly easy. And I'm going to continue to do it from now on. Because, yeah, the way that you, you broke it down to me and the way that I had to pick, that's easy peasy, man. Underdog fantasy for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's it's very cool. You just, oh, you know, you sign up first. You, you sign up using the promo code PHNX and they will match your you will, they will match you up to a hundred dollar deposit. Um, it's very, very cool. We have the link in our show notes. So it's very easy to link it to if you don't want to search in the store. But it's super fun because all you do is you pick higher or lowers with the different player props. You can do it across all different sports. You can mix and match. You can do one baseball, one uh, basketball. Well, not baseball because that's not really the time. But you can do one basketball, one football, one soccer, whatever it is. Pick anywhere from two to five guys on your or gals on your pick them and just make it happen. Super easy. Like we can honestly do one. Right now, Man Manchester United and Crystal Palace, Wednesday at 1 p.m. David De Gea, 2.5 saves, higher or lower? Higher. Higher. Marcus Rashford, 2.5 shots attempted, not on goal, attempted. Higher. Bruno Fernandez, two shots attempted, higher or lower? Mm, I want to say higher. Higher. Anthony, 2.5 shots attempted. Lower. And Anthony, ooh, here's an actually spicy one. Casemiro, 3.5 tackles. Ooh. Oh, man. Um... I'll go lower on that one. I think Man U is going to control possession. Awesome. So it is super easy. You can literally put down whatever. Oh, my gosh. You He's can tip it over. Tower down. down. Tower you, down. You can put in whatever type of amount of money you want. And with those five picks, it 20Xs your money. So we just did all of those five. Put in $5. You can win $100. Woo. Pretty freaking cool. That's so easy, yeah. too. Easy. Yeah. Literally make it super easy. You can look at their player cards, see what their past stats were. 
Love underdog fantasy. Very fun for soccer, especially during Premier League, especially during multiple leagues. I have won a lot of money, and I've lost a lot of money on that one. That was a good time, though. It is always a good underdog time. Underdog fantasy. To be fair, I'm for some ways, he's going to get your point after, you know, against an NFL team. All then. right. Yeah, I'm not surprised he's lost a lot of money. Oh, then. my goodness. All right. Let's move on. Let's Start rebuilding the tower, please. Uh, <laughs> tower of terror. Uh, Owen. Wait, where's your towel? You can add this one. Well, no, I'm trying to the, finish that's, that's my beer. That's the empty one. Right, yeah. yeah, see, Tyler saying just drink. Put the branding. Just <laughs> drink. Yeah, drink. You, you're being told by the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know what Owen did when he was on his trip. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Owen, tell us about your trip to Wales. First time in oh, three years. Yeah, it was one. rainy. Uh, and it was cold. Oh. I went to a couple of football games as well. But it was uh, <sighs> rainy and cold. ASMR. <laughs> this is the point of the show we've reached now. Drink which... beer. Drink, drink. Travel logistics. Drink with four weeks. Welsh. <laughs> Guy talking about his trip. This sounds amazing in my <laughs> head. <laughs> sounds like you can stop. Um, I'm just watching just to see. We need to just see if that view count just went up right big. before. It's and going people, one direction. People, it's going one of the people, directions. Yes, <laughs> going down. Imagine just people just open it up and you just get you like, well, it's drink beer. It's going to get weird around the 41st minute. <laughs> um, how how long? have we reached this point? I mean, yeah, we usually get to this point. Like this is shocking. the first time we have all three been in studio, I think, since World Cup, if I'm not mistaken. See, So it's going to so, yeah. happen. That's yeah. true. So That's I true. did not mean to interrupt you. Well, you kind of interrupted. Yeah, I interrupted yeah. myself. Exactly. Like, yeah. it's, it's All right. Well, how do how does someone book a trip to Wales? Like, how does that work? Like, you you, you go to Wales. <laughs> this is, how does someone book a trip to Wales? I don't know, man. Have you ever booked a flight before? Yeah, <laughs> but like, okay, you just go to the regular ride. Just like go to New York, and then you jump on another plane. I and... mean, you could go from here to London. It's like it's not. Oh, and then you hop on a train. You hop on a train from London. Normally, you'd go to London. If I wanted to go, to, London, wanted to, go then... to Wales, right? Like, how, how would I do it? You'd go to London Cardinal and then get on a train to Wales, thing. probably. How long is the train? Or a... Depends if they're running or not. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was another theme. Was, is my train going to be on time? I've got a stack of things I need to get money back from with those. But um, Could you take a it's... flight from London to Wales? Is that something? No. No, no you can't. Um... If you wanted to fly into Wales itself, the way you'd do it to get into Cardiff Airport would be you go via Amsterdam normally. Oh, okay. So you, okay. Can, you go over to Amsterdam and then back you across back. to Cardiff. Okay. But um, yeah, it's... Yeah, it, Tyler's it's... giving me some uh, advice here. <laughs> Odds on Gareth Bale living in AZ for the golf in Sun City and Ooh, the waste amazing. management pro. It's a fantastic. Yeah. Let's bring it's him in. Somebody give, uh, give, give Rising's ownership a shot and see if they want to. Uh, hey, yo. Oh my gosh. Find another investor, maybe. Ooh. Went to see Ryan Reynolds FC, says Pat. No, no, I didn't. Hey, no, Wrexham no. did win while you're over there. Yeah, they, they did. They did, to be fair to them. But also, have you seen Wrexham? I'd choose not to go. <laughs> um, Wrexham's up in North Wales, by the way. So I'm, I'm from South Wales. So. Oh, I see that here. It's yeah, near it's, Liverpool. It's not too far away. It's okay. in that general neck of the woods. Yes. I like exploring here. Okay. Are you looking on a map? He's yeah. looking on a map. I don't right? know where stuff okay. is. I'm, I'm more of a Google Earth guy. What, what am I? What? I'm, Google it. I'm a Googler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He sounds like those kids in like you know, elementary school. They're like, look at this cool new thing on the computer. Don't act it's like Google, Google Earth isn't awesome. This is, they're, they're, I'm, gonna, I'm giving him a free read, and I'm, you know me, I don't like giving out the free reads, but Google Earth is fantastic. What y'all know about Google Flight Simulator though? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Shit goes crazy. What? Oh, oh my! Uh, Slice question here. Yes, I did catch that game. I was there. It was a uh, cold day in the rain uh, initially, at least. But yes, no, I was there for that one. Ended up hopping on the train back towards London that night. Um, standing and a question on, for you: There's yep. two stadiums in Cardiff, right? Well, yeah, two. Well, two major stadiums. Okay, yes. there you go. There you okay, go. Okay, so you've got the Cardiff City Stadium, which is Cardiff's. Um, used to be. Ninian Park across the road, but mm. Cardiff City Stadium was built. Ooh, 2009 to 10 season. Isn't the difference between North and South like a two hour drive? No. No, Pat, no. Um, it's not? No, it's not, <laughs> no. Um, so I let's mean, say I go on a trip, right, and I land in Wales. What, like, what's the first thing I should eat while I'm there? God, now you're bringing the questions. Um, Cornish, Cornish pastry. Pasty. 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 I mean, we do have pasties, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they they Cornish. It's kind of in the name, so this is more like something from Cornwall. But mm. you, you, you can get them; they're there. Well, I mean, I know, I know, I know, it's, I know. It's not the same thing. I don't know. I, do stand, do... I stand by sausages are a lot better there than here. Oh, okay. okay. Like hot dog salad, or just straight up like and mashed potatoes or something. 
Well, I'm learning you, here, you so can bear eat with them me. In, you can eat them in both kind of ways. Oh, okay. Like, so it's... Interesting. Yeah. Mm. Learning. Yeah. I'm learning a lot. Um, yeah, sausage roll, as usual. Is it The Greg's uh, sausage roll, again, Gosh, I suppose they're so English, good. but um, <laughs> there's a load of them in, in Wales. So. Oh, damn. Uh, there's a... Uh, a lot of people like to frequent Nando's, which is, of course, Ooh, also chicken, not yeah. from the chicken, place? chicken. Yeah, I heard one's coming to Phoenix. Oh, okay. They're expanding in the U.S. They are okay. expanding in the U.S. I heard good things about it. It is. It yeah. is good stuff. It is good stuff. Nice. Um, I'm trying to think what else. There's uh, For those of you who enjoy uh, chips, as in not, not the crap yeah. you get in a little like bag French here. French fries? Yeah. yeah. I remember. Um, go, go down Chippy Lane on a uh, Friday night or a Saturday night in Cardiff and see people uh, fighting each other, throwing up, and acquire some chips. So, you know, one of those. That's uh, the trifecta? All at the yeah, same time. So, wow. so reason, and there's a big debate <laughs> of... Uh, there's a big debate, of course, as to whether you call this particular street Chip, Chip Alley, Chippy Lane, or uh, its actual name, which is uh, uh -oh. Caroline Street, but... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just got a lot of chippies down it, so it's just a lot of you, chippies. You were there That's for, in Cardiff, in the middle of Cardiff. You were there for how many weeks again? I was there for two weeks, um, and it rained every day. I, I was getting you not beat every me to the day. question. How often not did it rain? Every day, uh, it yeah. rained every day over here while you were gone. Basically, <laughs> that's what it seems like. Oh man, good stuff, man. Uh yeah, Cardiff. Better chocolate as well. Ooh, I'm backing that better Dang, chocolate. But that's that that's a low bar. That's a low bar. Slice saying uh, beans like, for breakfast. Are you, uh, are you, I, are, I say this American chocolate is poor. Are you, uh, and are I you, think we we can all agree. Are you, on are that. you a it's, milk chocolate, a dark chocolate, or a cacao chocolate guy? Oh, well, isn't all chocolate yeah, cacao? Cacao, yeah, it's all. No, like, but there's like there's chocolate. some that there's Come some, on. My there's ancestors some like, made it. I should know. There's this. some that are like 62%, 74%, whatever. Oh, I get you. I get well, you. I get it's you. not chocolate by a different percentage. It's not labeled as such. No, they have more cacao. Any cacao or chocolate experts, please advise <laughs> me. From otherwise. my understanding, it's like chocolate. you people who are like that with your garlic aioli. It's like, well, isn't garlic an inherent part of? I thought what aioli mean, was like a mayo people? and then you just. Yeah, but it's garlic. inherently garlic. Ah, see, I don't know that. Uh, just sounds I get it with the truffle fries. Yeah. Anyway, we're losing viewers here, guys. Pick it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. That was we actually much. we Should actually we gained, gained one during the whole okay, conversation. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, 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 you were gonna say hour. something about white chocolate. I I was reading that uh apparently it you can't call it really chocolate because yeah. it's, uh, yeah. there's a certain percentage of cacao yeah. or whatever. It's like safe for dogs too, because yeah, oh. it's not really there's no cacao. That's a there. myth. No, 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 that that it's bad for dogs. Right? Chocolate? Yeah, white, no, cho white chocolate because there's no chocolate dogs. in actual it. Actual chocolate is definitely bad for dogs. Okay. White chocolate's not because it's yeah. not We're actually not chocolate. Not <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> it's, it's a myth. Not. Go feed your dogs chocolate. <laughs> it's just sugar. Full disclaimer. Cut this guy off. We are not vets. Yeah, Do it. not feed chocolate to your dog. Yeah, don't blame us for Max is doing. Uh, Sly, don't let your dog listen to this podcast. Sly says, I will eat the chocolate. Uh, that's true. That one's a really good one. Ibarra is the one that you should be trying because I will eat this owned by someone that's not from Mexico. So they keep all the money. Keep the money in Mexico. Help them out. Um, but yeah, great stuff there with the chocolate. How do we get to chocolate talk? Anyway. Um, you were asking me about food. Well, how does that transition? Because it's better than here. There you go. That's why. Yeah. Which again, it's a low bar. Yeah, but it's, that's true. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I mean, one day we'll take a PHNX uh, rising show to, to Cardiff. I'll be down for that. Yeah. Quite, yeah. The, quite the whales of a tail, you know? <laughs> We'll start a go GoFundMe so we can go overseas. <laughs> we'll do the show from over there. All right, y'all. Staring into the darkness. Okay, carry on. All right, sorry, Sean. We'll take enough of your time, but uh, that's it for for y'all uh, for us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Great, great stuff in the chat, guys. It's always a good time when you guys are lively there. I always appreciate it. Uh, we'll be back next Tuesday. More beer. You want a little? Oh, we got to need a shout out our friends at Four Peaks. Oh, that's for, true. That's true. For the beer. Wait, uh, I see uh, Pat Moses. I need to make. Get on making that tower taller. Asking you shall receive. Yeah, I'll help okay. you out. I'll help you out. Hang on a minute. I'm moving my laptop take, out of the way. Take the, out of the way. Here, do the ad right now. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll help you out. Yes, of course. Well, Four Peaks. You know them. You love them. They were out there at our tea party because they presented the whole dang thing. So if you caught them out there, they were giving out free wow wheat samples of their delicious nectar of beer. And if you want to see us, we're going to be out at last Wednesday. That's coming back. We haven't done those since October due to Thanksgiving and the holidays. So we're back last Wednesday. That's next, oh gosh, a week from tomorrow, January 25th. 
out there all day, all of our shows going live. We're actually gonna be outside. It's gonna be a beautiful day. It's like mid 60s, like come on, weather's gonna be awesome. Knock on wood, not a meteorologist. Uh, <laughs> please come out, enjoy. Max, you're speaking about a lot of things that you're not an expert I, in today. If you want the disclaimer, I'll give you the disclaimer. <laughs> three, uh, they got $3 wows, the best chicken fingers on the freaking planet. Come out and join us, have a good time. Ooh, this is a great tower. We might, oh man. Is that five? We, no, that's four. It's four. Oh. Okay. Come out and join us. It's going to be a fantastic time at Four Peaks. And thank you for the beer that's powering the tower. Power Tower. I also saw <laughs> that they're doing a Valentine's Day thing as well. I don't know if you saw it on their social tell. media. But, you know, great, great stuff there. Uh, if you guys want to do something for Valentine's. I know a lot of people don't like to go all out for Valentine's. They just want to have a chill time. Check out Four Peaks, man. It's great stuff. Great yeah. stuff. Um, any more, more beers on that? Uh, no, because this is still not empty and I'm not <laughs> Oh, come on. The way it's leaning right now, if I hand this to Max, his laptop See, might look, die. Pat, Pat's saying a couple uh, more cans that you can make an upright uh, kick on. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it. I would like to see it. Oh, we'll do the. We'll I get to a little like paper just, football. See if that works at least. We've reached the point. I know you mentioned the disclaimer there, but we almost just need the disclaimer graphic, which is literally. We got more viewers saying, now like, that we're not even talking. Look, we got eighteen. <laughs> we stopped oh talking about goodness. Phoenix Rising and start just talking oh, about the dribble. Hit that like button while you're on here. Hit yeah, that hit like that button. Like Help button. us out. Now. Appreciate y'all. I will uh, say, I do feel like we now need to get a football and a camera to a football field. And you make have Max kick a 35 yard field. Yeah, I, I used to kick, so I'm confident. I can do 30. That's that's my max, honestly. I need 35. Yeah, I can't do more than that. Respect to the to the kickers out there. We it's we just kick. need to know. Hang on a minute. So what are you gonna do if you don't hit a 35 well, yard? We, we were put it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What if I do hit it? Well, that doesn't mean anything because you still haven't met your claim that you'd have done it in the game. Don't, don't do NFL these things players. with Owen because he never puts anything in. That and then is we end so up, We end up true. always having to do stuff. You don't do none. So talk about my. You talking about your max? Talk about my max. You know what my max is? It's me. I, I want to see. Max. You know who I want to see? Owen. I want to see Owen kick. All right. So I would love. Why to, would I do no, that? No, 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 it's, no. We already know what happened to Emma's shins. We Owen is saw, not kicking anything. Well, we already saw I Owen didn't kicks. Forget. Yeah, let's uh -uh. keep him out. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pat, thank oh. you so much. Oh, oh, here she comes. Oh, oh shoot. Oh. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, oh, we, uh, Ramon, we, we we're trying to see if These I can kick a field walls. goal. And Ramon's like, hey, Owen never wagers anything. He should kick the field goal. And I'm like, oh, Owen should be nowhere near kicking anything oh, because of your yeah. shins. She's out yeah. two to context, three months. For context here, for those of you no. listening on audio, Emma just walked straight into the studio on that. So she that was really, name. really well timed. <laughs> oh, she, but, got, oh, she, she got, got on the, on the mic. She got on the mic. There uh -oh. we go. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Oh, and are you going to tell a story or am I? Oh. What about the fact that we were kicking a ball around outside Chase Field oh. and we <laughs> felt that I went a bit too hard in the challenge? Okay, so for everyone that doesn't know, we were having a lovely, lovely time right before our photo shoot. It was very nice. Yeah. We were very just, cordial. I really wanted to play with the soccer ball. I wanted to kick it around with my buddies. That was it. Oh, yeah. we're buddies. Yeah. And then Owen acted like we were at like some tournament going ham like, like we're in the wrong, finals wrong in the world cup final yeah dog i know i was like whoa 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 we were just we were just having a good time <laughs> <laughs> yeah no. oh goodness well, no no no. that wasn't even the worst part is emma afterwards is like yo owen what the heck you just clattered in my <laughs> shit <laughs> that's exactly what I he said oh that. it's just like a sunday league game buddy <laughs> that's a red card it was not the benedict <laughs> sunday league is owen needs Yes, he does. Ooh. Yes, get his reference license checked. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Correct. After that tackle, I don't know. I don't know if you can trust him. Uh, yeah. All right, y'all. Let's wrap it up. Sorry. We're, we, yeah. We're, uh, real quick. I'm not shaving a head or eyebrows. Mm, that's not happening. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's two little lines across. <laughs> no, 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 no. Make you look cool. No, no, no. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's get out of here. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, off season shenanigans. This was going on. Appreciate y'all uh, being here. We'll be. We will be back next Tuesday. Hopefully with some more news. It's gonna be a fun time. Whether. Whether we have news or not, it's going to be a fun time here with us. With more towers, more football. We now have to set a precedent. This tower is happening every time. That's, that's true. I don't know we're if I can drink that much every We're going to make time. it leave the screen, like, eventually. All right, y'all. Let's get out of here. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Take care.